people welcome to a beautiful beautiful tutorial how we doing now how is everything trust we are good how is market how is business may god bless each and every one of us my name is Imala Nick of Christmas Works today I'll be making puff puff duvet puff duvet but me and they call them puff puff because it could just be like puff puff so um the materials we'll be using is this Ankara and this one this one is brighter satin you can use 100 percent cotton your choice but this one is um the this one is brighter satin the doll face so you can use any fabric of your choice that is baby friendly to the skin and then the measurement for this set this set is 15 by 15 centimeter and this set is 13 by 13 centimeter you can see they are divided into two so what we are going to do is to take one let's take this one the big one one of the Ankara one take this one then we are going to start pinning like so pin to this side This one, pin it in. pin here. Now you can see it has space, so on that space, we are going to work on that space. So we are going to do it like this. The space now, don't hold on. Use your phone, hold it. So let's do this one. Get your pin. Hold it now. Let's do this one. Hold it so let's do this one. So we have this puffy side. Okay. So we are going to do the second one and we'll get back to show you. Come back. So this is how it looks like. This is the puffy side. So I'm going to sew four corner. And I'll come back and show you. So we are going to sew it four corner like that. And we'll come back and show you how it looks like. So here it is. You can see it is stitched. See, we don't stitch it. Aha. Now the trap now they look so so we are going to join it like this and so straight the good side and the good side is facing just like this so we're going to sew straight yeah it is we are joining it together the good side facing the good side so we're going to stay here straight third one we are joining the third one so we are going to stitch it we are going to make it like seven eight ten however you want it how many strand you want it is fine so i think i'm going to go with seven seven strand here it is we are joining the strap this is 
the sixth one just keep joining to whatever length you like even you can join up to 20 lengths it is we've made it into a strand so we are going to start joining the strand so here is it we have made it into two strands so we are going to start joining the strands together we join the strand together making sure that the lines this line this connector and this connector is together when we are stitching so we're going to stitch it so that's how we're going to do and finish everything and we'll get back to show you making sure the connectors are meeting third line this is the third line no? one two three and this is the third one so we are going to make it join all the whole seven lines together they will get back to show you you can make yours more than seven no? I come back so here it is this is it it has been joined making sure that the joinings met together so what we are going to do is to turn it like this and cut here. We just cut enough that will make us pass our vacron. Let me get my vacron. So we are going to cut it like so. Make sure you don't cut the, the front part of just here. You get your vacron. You have to get the thickness you want. Make sure you get the thickness you want. Okay, I think this is Ah, this is better. Then you bring your thread and needle and close it back. After you are done with this one, you will do the second one, the way I did this one, and close everywhere back. Now let me do everything and I will get back to you. Wow. This is the last puff puff. Okay. So continue. Last, last, we don't finish our more.
So, let's go and get our fabric and cover this place. Welcome back. So, here it is. And this is our plain fabric, the one we'll be using. So, what we are going to do is to fold it. Please make sure that you have about one inch um, space for folding. One inch space for folding. Come here. Okay. That is it. Then we'll use our pin to hold on to it. So this is what I will do, round the four corner, and then I will come back and show you how it looks like. I come back. So yes, our puff puff. And this is how the back look like after stitching. So we are going to use um, the machine fabric, this back, uh, back fabric, to cover the back so that the back will not be showing. So we cut it out, leaving one and a half inch space around the four corner as you can see so what i'm going to do now is so i'm going to fold it like this use my pin hold on to it this is just to cover the edge neatly This one is out, so I have to retake this. And don't start it. Now this is what I will do. At the four corner then i'll get back to show you guys Let's just go and stitch it on the four corner. Our uh, machine will just go vim, 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 vim on the four corner and we'll come back and show you. Welcome back. This is Praises Works. So here is our puff puff. How many puff puff do you want? Here is our puff puff. We are, stitch we are done stitching this side. This is how the back look like. Take note that you can do as many as you like. You can make it more than this. You can do 10 by 10. You can do 20 by 20. This is just to show you how it is being done. Look at it. Wow, this is so sweet. Ah, these children, eh? And they enjoy you. What did they did like do do bad do do bad? Cause now you are true, so I am very young. I sing for you.
Don't give the world.